I got, I, I got a word, though. Derek, put that up on the screen for me. Okay, you already, boy, I tell you. Listen, to, I just want, I want, to, I want to say this. For the next few weeks, we're having revival, but when I come back, I'm going to really deal with this text. But I just want to kind of, can I just crack it open, just a little taste? Just a little bit, baby, because I think it's I think it's appropriate for where we are now, and for what I just said. Grandma, you all right? This is what it says. Y'all stand up, stand up, stand up. It's all right. It'll make it easier for you to dance if you go ahead and stand up. This is what it says. It says, "Sing, O barren, thou that dis." not bear. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Okay? Break forth into singing. That's where I get the word explosion. He says break. And he says break several times in this particular text because you'll break forth on the right and on the left. But he says Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. I ain't reading nothing else. First, Jasmine, he talks to the barren woman. woman who's barren is a woman who cannot produce children. The question that sees the corridors of my cerebral cortex is why is she barren? Well, you got to understand who he's prophet, prophesying to and where he's prophesying at the moment. Now, we've talked about this for weeks. He's prophesying to Israel who is at this time prisoners in Babylon. And one of the first things that they did to the males when they brought them into the captivity was a lot of them they castrated. Now without trying to be too graphic, what castration is are, is dismemberment. To cut their manhood away. Or to cut away his ability to give seed for reproduction. So the re Lord of Bahosha, there are two reasons why a woman can't have children generally number one because there is some type of uh, um, anatomical um, um, issue that prevents her from having or holding a child but number two if seed isn't provided now the women of Israel were known to be the most fertile women in the world. Hebrew women were the most fertile. If you don't believe me, go back to the Bible says that when Moses was in the children, was it, they were in Egypt, the Bible says that um, they got so upset and uh, they said, well, what we want you to do is we want um, you to kill all the babies, abort them. And uh, that was the first edict before they went to kill every child two years and under. All right? He says, so now, when you send the midwife in, have them abort the babies. And so that's what they were getting ready to do. And they said, came back to Herod and said, we try, but them women are so fertile that by the time we get there, they've already produced and had babies so we can't catch them fast enough look at your neighbor said neighbor you got to be so fertile this year that the enemy can't catch all the children that you're getting ready to give birth to Lord I will look at your neighbor said neighbor I'm going to break forth everywhere oh y'all playing y'all playing I dare you to lean on somebody and say, neighbor, I'm about to explode everywhere. He's going to run to my right, and I'm giving birth on my left. He's going to go to the left, and I'm going to give birth on 
my life. I wish I had about three people to raise their hand and shout, break fall! Good evening. Good evening. He says, now this is what I'm going to do. Because only the pagan women, because of their practices, according to history, had trouble having babies, even though they were married. So he singles out the woman who could not have babies. Metaphorically, he says, sing, oh barren women. He says, when you sing, I want your praise to be explosive. He says, explode or break forth into singing. I want you to look at somebody and say, your praise is going to have to be explosive this year. You won't have time for what God wants to do for you in this season. You won't have time for a cheerleader. You won't have time for somebody to put on a skirt and bring out some pom-poms. Look at your neighbor say, you got to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise because there's an explosion that's about to take place in agape and everybody connected to agape that will be uncontainable. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, you ain't going to be able to hold this one. I don't care how conservative you are. I don't care how solemn you are. You got to break out this year. This is the year of the breakout. Why don't you get through you by the hand and say, this is the year of the breakout. This is where I'm closing. This is where I'm closing. Good evening, children. I wish I had a voice. I'd holler right now. This is where I'm closing, Pastor. Look at the etymological positioning of these two words. Break. Now, this doesn't mean break. It means to burst. It means to explode, baby. Speak, Lord. It means to explode. But it didn't say just explode. It says break forth. Okay. Let me help y'all. Break forward. You got it? See, it just hit you. I saw when you did like that. I saw it hit you. Look at your neighbor. Said, neighbor. God is going to explode you forward. I wish I had some help. I wish I had somebody that knew that I ain't going back no more, that I'm exploding. Lord, I wish I had somebody to shout forward. Forward. restricted than those who have been anticipated and prophesied because of how they look are going to do well. This year, can I preach? Can I tell your neighbor, say neighbor, this season you're going to defy the odds. You're going to have more in this season than folk who live better, who are raised on the right side of tracks, who everybody favored, who everybody gave to, look at your neighbor, sir, neighbor, this is the season for the black sheep of the family, this is the season for the cast aside, this is the season for the cast out, this is the season for the scandalized, the lied on, the viewed and the scorned, look at your 
Somebody shout glory in this told you two reasons and I'm I'm going with this here two reasons why a woman can't have birth is because of some physical issue but secondly because of the lack of seed so God is going to give you seed so that you can bear fruit. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, God is going to give you seed. I ain't going to do that today. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God, he's going to give you seed so you can break out. Say, yeah. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, I prophesy to your seed. And some 30, some 60, some 100 fold, a thousand times more, I speak to your seed. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, there's nothing that the devil can do that can block your seed in this season. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, God, 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 God is gonna give you seed for this season. Leave them alone, go find somebody else. Grab, grab your God is going to give you seed for this season and you'll have more than you had before. Oh no, go to somebody else. They ain't saved enough. Prophesy to somebody and say, neighbor, I see a breakout all over your life. And I'm come to prophesy to your life. You're going to break out on the right. You're going to break out in the left. You're going to break out ahead of you. You're going to break out behind you. Shout it yeah. In the city. Good evening, children. Farewell. I'm in Georgia, but I gotta go. But before I go, as a man of God, I prophesy to a company, international church, and I speak and declare an overall explosion. Kingdom proportions. Find one more person. Oh, find one more person. I said, find, find, find one more person. And said, neighbor, be careful how you hang around me. Because I'm blowing up. And everything around me is going to get blessed. Bless in the city, bless in the field, bless when I come out, bless when I go in, bless when I sit down, bless when I stand up, bless when I go to sleep, bless when I rise in the morning, somebody shout neighbor, I'm blessed and cannot be cursed. 
singing. That word sing comes from the Hebrew word tahila, which means a song of testimony. It means to give God credit for what he's already done. Good God in a quarter. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm getting ready to break forth for about 16 good seconds. I'm going to break forth in a praise because I'm prophesying to the rest of my year what's going to happen in my life. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Tell them, neighbor. I said, talk to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. When I count to three, I need for you to either break out in a praise or move somewhere else. But I really need somebody to help me lift Jesus for what he's going to do. Are y'all ready? One, two, three, praise him. Come on. That's it. That's it, Maria. That's it, Gloria.
done. I didn't even get to the good part yet, but I hold it. But my wife said that's enough. I, I feel a, I feel a drawback in her spirit. All right, baby. I expect, I see, feel, and sense God exploding things in our life this year that are indescribable. happened to us in the past. Great things are going to happen. You know, 9-11, y'all remember? Who, 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 who was in New York during 9-11? Who's in 9-11? Dimitri, you know, they talk about the Twin Towers. But they never discuss all of the perimeter buildings that were around. And that's the thing about the explosion. I ain't trying to make y'all shout. That's the thing about the explosion. I'm sorry, Jimmy. That's the thing about the explosion. Because explosion doesn't just affect the thing that is exploding but it affects everything around it God is going to explode us to the degree that it's going to affect everything around I want you look at somebody and say if you don't want to catch this blessing then you need to hang out with somebody else Everybody know me, you know, that hang out with me. If I go suit shopping and you with me, you're going to have to get a pair of socks or something. Most times in suit, right, sir? If I go out to eat, you tell me I ain't hungry, but get away from my table. I eat Mike. Mike, Mike only eat one time a day. And, and Mampha has to fix his food. Oh my God. But yesterday, I said, Mike, you ordering something? He said, yep. <clears throat> he demolished that chicken and waffle so fast because he's, <laughs> right, he ain't even breathe, mama. He ain't even breathe. Breathe, Mike, breathe. It was so amazing because what it tells me is he's used to my explosion. Tell your neighbor, say, when I explode, don't duck. Just embrace it. Just embrace it. Tell, tell, look at